Hi everyone, welcome back to High School Science 101. Today we're going to show you how to measure the hardness of certain substances and minerals using a very interesting and very simple system that was developed over 100 years ago. Let's check it out. This is Mohs Hardness Scale, and it was developed by German geologist Frederick Mohs back in 1812. So it's over 200 years old, but we still use it to this day as a very simple way of measuring the hardness of unidentified minerals. We've got nine different substances here, and they're actually ranked from one being the softest through to nine being the hardest. And hardness is basically how easily something can get scratched. So let's say we get uh, an eight, and we scratch our unknown rock with an eight. If it does scratch, then we know that this rock is softer than an eight. And then we go down to our seven. If our seven scratches it, then we know that it's softer than a seven. If we go to our six, and we try to scratch it with the six, but it doesn't scratch, then we know that this rock is harder than six, but softer than seven. So it might be 6.5. As I said, we've got nine different minerals here, and these are fairly common. From softest to hardest, we have talc, gypsum, calcite, fluorite, apatite, feldspar, quartz, beryl, and corundum. Corundum is the third hardest mineral, with diamond being the hardest. If this was a solid chunk of diamond, I would probably be on my private island in a mansion and have my collection of Ferraris in the driveway. So diamond is very expensive, hence why we use at least the third hardest thing that we know, which is corundum. Let's now look at some examples using some things that we do know the hardness of, and then investigate the hardness of some things that we don't know. Our fingernail has a hardness of 2.5, and talc has a hardness of 1. So our fingernail should be harder than the talc and it should be able to scratch it. Let's have a look. And as you can see, my fingernail is easily scratching that talc. So our fingernail must be more than a one. Let's now look at our number two, which is gypsum. Our fingernail, remember, was 2.5 in the hardness scale. So it should be able to scratch our gypsum, which is a 2. That's a bit tricky. Let's go somewhere else. And yeah, my fingernail is digging into that rock. So our fingernail is still harder than a 2. So now when we go to our three, our fingernail being a 2.5 shouldn't be able to scratch our three, which is calcite. And I'm really having a really hard time here. And I think the rock is actually digging into my fingernail here and grinding away at my fingernail. So our fingernail is between a three and a two, 2.5. A knife has a hardness of 5.5 on the Mohs scale. So if I pick out our four, which is fluorite, let me just hold it up here. I should be able to scratch our fluorite with my knife. And you can see it's scratching pretty easily there. So this knife is definitely harder than a four. Let's get a five. And our five is appetite. Let's have a look here. And it is just scratching it. Let me find a better spot. Let's try here. It's hard to see, but it is making very, very small scratches in the rock. So it's slightly, slightly harder than a five. It might even be a five. But let's just try our six. And our six was feldspar. I don't think this knife is gonna have any impact. And it just, I can't, there's no way that that's gonna scratch at all. It just glides off. So I would say that this knife is possibly just a bit above a five in hardness. A steel file has a hardness of 6.5 on the scale. So let's test it. We'll start with our five, and our five was appetite. So if this is a 6.5, it should easily be able to scratch our rock here, which is a five. And you can see 
it made a pretty big scratch there. So it is harder than a five. So let's go to our six, which was feldspar. And I can see little bits of dust coming off our rock there. So it is harder than feldspar. And now with our seven, if this is 6.5, it shouldn't be able to scratch our seven. And our seven was quartz. So let's have a look here. And just like before, this is just gliding off the surface. It's not doing anything at all. I can't get into that surface at all. So this file is softer than a seven, but it is harder than a six. So it is 6.5. Let's now use this scale to measure the hardness of some things that we don't know the hardness of. And this can be really handy in case you've found a rock and you want to try and identify it. First up, let's start with some cement sheeting. And I've got no idea how hard this is. And I just found it outside and I thought it might be good to test. Let's start with our one, which is our talc. And if the talc can scratch this, then this must be softer than talc. But I suspect that it's gonna be harder than talc. I'm scratching, trying to scratch the surface, but I can just rub that off. And we can see that the talc had no impact at all on this sheeting. So it's harder than a one. Let's try our two, our gypsum. It's not really having any impact at all. It's just sliding off. Yeah, so it's harder than a two. Let's try our three, our calcite. It's got a bit closer here. And it's, it is starting to dig in a little bit. Let's have a look. Yeah, there is some scratching there. So let's go to our four, just to double check. And our four was fluorite. Let's find a fresh part. Here we go. Yeah, that, that is scratching the sheet, definitely. So this sheet is softer than a four. I would say it's around a three. It, it is stronger than, it is harder than a two. And my nail doesn't scratch it. So it's harder than 2.5 as well. I would say it's around the three mark in terms of hardness. And lastly, let's try this guy. I have no idea how hard this is, but it does look like it's going to be pretty hard. I would say possibly around the seven mark. So let's try and find out. Let's start with our seven and see if we can scratch the surface. And our seven, by the way, was quartz. Okay, so we can see something going on there. Although, I seem to be able to just rub that off, which means that the rock is probably grinding away at the quartz rather than the other way around. Yeah, it's not scratched at all. So this rock is harder than the quartz, which was a seven, Let's now try the eight, which is beryl. We can see some, some scratching is happening there. And if I rub it away, yeah, it has smoothed that surface a bit. Let's try again somewhere else. Let's try it here. And we can see that the rock is smoother where I was grinding it. So this barrel is indeed harder than the rock. So the rock is probably between a seven and an eight, possibly a 7.5 in hardness. And that's it for today. Mohs Hardness Scale, a 200 year old scale for measuring the hardness of things. Make sure you check out the Instagram account because as I come across interesting science facts and discoveries, I put them up on there. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.